Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in light of my Uncovered campaign, I thought we'd do something a little bit uh, pragmatic and positive, which is to cook some alternatives for people to eat other than animal products. And we brought in the big guns. We've got Derek Sano here from Wicked Kitchen. How you going, Derek? I'm really good. Awesome to hang out and uh, actually cook with you, Joey, finally. Other than following you and doing the, watching your amazing work, I'm super excited to actually cook for you now. So this is Dezza's kitchen. Can I call you Dezza? It's yeah, probably yeah. A, it's a bad nickname, but you know. That's great. But we're in your kitchen here, and what do we got here today? What are we gonna do today? Like we've got some breakfasty stuff. It looks like. Yeah. So in a, in a, any kind of a pork replacement, we have these new Wicked Kitchen breakfast patties, and I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing, super easy breakfast sandwich that you can either take with you or say, you know, you can make extra, which we'll make extras. We can eat right away and you can save it for later. Oh, they look good. Did we it's get a close good. up of these patties? Check them out. And uh, you got your own tofu now? Yeah. That we're uh, you've, you've made it when you've got your own tofu, dude. <laughs> that's when, you know, when you've got your own tofu, that's a vegan's dream. All right, well, let's, let's get rocking. All right, guys. So we're going to make these breakfast sandwiches and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you help me out a little bit. I'm gonna okay. have you we please cut this so I have uh, this knife. You can cut these in half for me. Do you trust me with this knife though? I Derek? trust you here. Do me a favor. Let me see <laughs> let's see this for a second. I'm gonna open the tofu. It's the easiest way. Nice, there nice. You go. And now okay. you can cut those. So one thing, Joey, a lot of people they take they buy these gadgets to press tofus, you know. This is a First off, this is a medium firm tofu. It's not a firm tofu. So one of the differences of why it's much creamier and it's a little bit better for an egg replacement. Uh huh. So that's why it's I- It's got like, that egg texture. Yeah. And as far as, instead of buying gadgets to press tofu, I just use my hand. Why waste, why waste the money on buying a gadget when you can yes. just do this? Yes. And I don't mind a little bit of water in there because you know, it's packed in water. I don't know why we have to try to escape it all the time. <clears throat> so. Thank you for doing that. Now I'm gonna have you do me a favor. Super, just butter them. Butter okay. each side, butter them really well. So, just let me show you here quick. So just butter it so, <laughs> super well. That's like that. naughty. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'm gonna crank on the stove. <laughs> and what do we got for butter actually? We got the Vitalite dairy-free plant-based yeah. deliciousness. And people can get them from any shop, their local Tesco. Yep. Or, uh... I do most of all my shopping at Tesco since I work for Tesco. Yeah, te what, tell us, what do you do at Tesco? So I am the chef director of plant-based innovation. So what I do is I, I develop all the Wicked Kitchen brand and I also help develop all the Plant Chef brand and help with just lead all the teams within their plant-based. So any category within the store always has a plant-based representation now always is on all the briefs, like whatever's coming out new, we, we try to make sure there's a plant-based alternative throughout the store. Cause you know, there was this point where Tesco took this massive turn and I was like, look how yeah. vegan it is in here. Like, 2018, yeah, exactly. The Wicked Range. The Wicked Range is completely vegan. So you're completely safe here. They've got a lasagna. If you want um, meals already done, the Wicked Range is amazing. Go Tesco, look at this one. Go Tesco. Dude, you started cranking it in there. I was like, wow. So I'm gonna oil the pan a little bit. I like using cast iron pans because of the even heat and I love the weight of it. And then I also, I always have two because I do a lot of cooking with mushrooms and pressing mushrooms. So maybe we'll do one of those soon. Of course. So what I did was cut the tofu into fours. I cut it in half and then cut it in half again. So there's each piece. So we'll make four sandwiches and there's four of these patties. So once this pan heats up enough, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna season the tofu, but I'll season it on the pan. And we're gonna season it with a little bit of, what am I got? I got some garlic. Sorry, I don't have my, when I don't have my glasses on, you're gonna see me <laughs> squinting. So I have garlic and onion granulators. I really like using the granulated because I can touch it, feel it, and it's not powdery. It doesn't burn as fast uh -huh. and as easy. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the pan and that'll tell me if it's hot enough once you hear a sizzle. Yeah, it's getting there, so. That's a little trick there. For, for me it is, yeah. Season you can... the oil and then you know also at the same time that temperature's for up to. For me, yeah, it's either that or water. So I'm gonna also add the breakfast patties right to this. We'll probably do a couple at a time. So these are supposed to be sausage. These yeah. are a sausage. The breakfast These patty, are vegan exactly. sausage. Exactly. Because people actually like, I mean, being vegan now for eight years, 
kind of bends my mind out that people actually eat pigs for breakfast. Yeah, it's a little uh, crazy. So <laughs> this has got that, you know, sausagey kind of feel and flavor without the uh, poor animal in there. All right, so we, we're just starting to sear off these. I'm just gonna do a quick flip. So I'm just gonna put these, get a nice little color on the, oh, on the sausage patty. They're super good, man. They're so succulent and Oh, they're just good. And then I have the tofu going. I'm just gonna do a quick flip here. So you don't have to go crazy and cook them a lot, but I do like that crispy skin on the tofu. So what I'm gonna season this with as well is to make that eggy flavor is I use black salt. Uh-huh. So kalanamak, kalanamak. The black salt. Where do people get that from? I got it from like a specialty store or, or I ordered it on Amazon. A yeah. lot of grocery stores don't sell it yet. I'm gonna work on it but you can smell that. It just smells like sulfur, yeah, eggy, yeah. eggy smell, you know? And tofu's got that, it's like the perfect egg replacement. So it, when it you is. put this on there, it is. you oh, really, yeah. it's all out. It is, and we could you, we could have taken the time to dye it with the turmeric, and all I would do is hot water, a little tea, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and then let it sit there, and that would dye it yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, in the morning, I don't, I'm not fussed. Okay. On a video, maybe we could do it, but, you know, hey, this is keep it simple this is, for you guys. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So the tofu is looking good. I'm just gonna move the tofu off, and we're putting it on this pan here, just so you can see. I have this other pan here. I always tend to use these baking sheets because it helps with the cleanup. Uh -huh. I don't have to clean up so much. So I have that there. Two of these will be done. So I'm just gonna set them here, and we'll cook off those two. And while those two are cooking. I like, so I used to work in breakfast joints when I was younger. So always the trick is to grill the... Oh, look at it! Is that getting that? Can, that is... Grill the, the uh, yeah, on top of here. And that was, that's why you said go thick with the butter. Yeah, yeah, because that'll grill oh. in that flavor. It makes it super moist at, in the end, oh. just like you're eating at, at McDonald's, you know, if you're, you know, our replacement for a sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I... I didn't give up animal products because I didn't like the taste. Oh, I no. gave up. I gave up because of the same reason you. Suffered. I used to smash those sausage McMuffins. Exactly, from McDonald's, man. So like, exactly. You know. So now we can just make our own. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, of course. Uh, people always say, "Well, why are you trying to replicate like sausage?" And it was because it's tasty. Yeah. But we exactly. don't want like an animal suffering to death for it. Exa exactly. You know what I mean? I totally do. Yeah. So I just want a little bit of color on. This, and then you can see this looks awesome. Oh, look at the golden. So it's nice, and and we're gonna toast them. So we have one, two there. Oh, you know, we have a couple the more. The golden muffin. We're, co we're cooking for the whole crew here, so we got four of them we're doing. So, like, if people can't get this wicked sausage, yeah. like, like so, so this is in a, we're in the UK right now, um, the land of wicked, the amongst other things. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, say people in the US, Australia, yeah. You know, in Europe? What about Europe? In Europe, I know there's other brands out there, whether you can find a frozen replacement yeah. or if you just take a plain vegan burger, you can also season it, sausage yeah. seasoning. So a sausage seasoning to me would be grinding up a little bit of fennel, Yeah. some of the garlic granulars here, yeah, yeah. onion granular, a little bit of, um, if you want it, like breakfast sausage tends to have a little spice, so a yeah. little bit of red pepper flake. Yeah. You know, and we can write that in the recipe down below, yeah. whatever you get, however you post this, we can share that. So you can get a vegan burger, yeah. and it can imitate so. a vegan sausage. Exactly. Which also imitates, you know, so it's like a, exactly. it's a bit of inception there. Exactly, there's only one, you know, the pork companies are starting to come out now, like there's Omni Pork that's out. Yeah, Beyond and, have got a, like a pork indeed. sausage, if you can get that, but like... Yeah, in America they do, they, yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen it here well, yet. Well, it's in it's in Starbucks in the UK, because I tried yes. it the other day and I was like, whoa. Good? Yeah, it was good, yeah. Good. So I'm just gonna finish these off. People do eat like bacon as well, which is just a piece of a, a dead pig, basically, sliced yeah. up and cured. Uh, and there's some pretty good uh, vegan bacon as well around, like I like to, I like a bit of this isn't bacon. Richmond Foods also have a pretty good vegan bacon um, in the UK. And yeah. uh, I prefer the Richmond's or even the Naked, which the is naked. good. Yeah. Nice. 
So check check out the vegan bacon. They're getting really good, actually. Uh, or make you can make your own. We and we, so we have a wicked healthy cookbook. We have a whole section on how to make different vegetables into bacon yeah. and tofu into bacon, rice paper into bacon. You can well, pretty you much. Go. It's all about the flavoring. Frankie. Frankie, who's Frankie? Oh my lord. There you go. That's for you. Frankie. Great can we get a shot so people can see Frankie? Frank Hello, darling. Got some cheese for you. This is the follow your heart cheese, the smoked cheese. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Look at your beautiful, beautiful fur. So silky. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> so funny, Frankie. Okay, so what I like to do now is I'll just lay it all out there. Just put them for a second. And so you just build them. I usually go sausage and then we'll pay, put a piece of cheese here a uh, piece of tofu like that yeah another piece of cheese but that's how we build them yeah so if you can peel off that cheese and cut it one and break it in half and just put half on there like i did sweet yeah, yeah. tofu and then another one the other there yeah. you go yes oh, like, wait wait you crisscrossing them yeah crisscross just... them yeah yeah, yeah. Like that. that's great and then what i like to add is I have this, uh, we make this Baconese flavored mayo. So oh, the oh bacon actually, mayo. oh yeah, that's, I've tried that. It's good, it's good. And it just adds more flavor, so, and mayo, it's just gonna add that nice fatty. It's taste. bacon, vegan bacon ace. Bake, no nays, vegan mayo. What's this cheese here? Follow your heart. This is the follow your heart, smoked gouda. Smoked smoke gouda. Smoke gouda. Mm. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this bacon ace. Oops. Just a little bit. Now you can add hot sauce, you could add sriracha, you could add barbecue sauce. I'm not a ketchup fan, so I would not add ketchup, so, but I know people like it. But I, I love I, ketchup. I just don't, I can't do it. You know, in England, they got this stuff called brown sauce. They do. And that yeah. they see it as like, it's like blasphemy not to have brown sauce with like a breakfast. Right. <laughs> There's like this war between ketchup and brown sauce over here, it's, it gets real. It's dangerous. So you see that, we have them all ready to go. Wow. And you can make these ahead of time, they which look is amazing. great. So if you're having company over, I just get them all set up like this and then we just pop them in. And the you oven. heat them up when you need them. Exactly. So that'll take a good 10 minutes. I always do everything I heat on is 200 degrees Celsius on fan or convection yep. in America. So that's around 400 degrees Fahrenheit in America. This is gonna just take a minute. So, if so like, let's just say like, I'm a single bloke and I'm like, well, I I, well, there, well there you go, and I'm like, so what you do is just set them up. You could actually wrap them up in like foil or something, exactly. have them in the fridge, and then in the morning, you can stick on the oven and get up. Exactly. And have a coffee, put one in the exactly. oven. Exactly. See, easy. So in a, with a pack of four, I usually will make four and I'll have one every morning. Some days, admit, I might have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No. <laughs> so I'll just eat the same thing. So you eat like a vegan king over here, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to move in. To... <laughs> you got a spare room here, mate, or what? I do, I do for special guests, Joey. Vegan muffins every morning, <laughs> damn. Uh, and then I just like to always clean up while that's in the oven. Everything's all nice and tidy and clean. And it's just off to work after this, you know? Wow. All right, so it's been a couple minutes, like five minutes, right? Okay. Now oh. you just have to pull yeah. these babies out. Here they are. This is like a great review. Yeah, it's awesome. They smell, smells delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, they're spicy and they're hot. So now if you, you could easily, uh, I'll take how many you want. Well, you guys are gonna eat one. They're really hot right now, so we need to set, uh, let them sit for a second. Oh. Might have to get a picture of my phone here quick. Just like, wanna tell you guys, like the, the smell right now is like warm muffins, butter. Deliciousness. You know, sausage and melted cheese. That's the smell. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture quick with the camera guy in the back. There you go, nice. Nice. Oh, well, it smells good. So it is time for a taste test, but- You gotta eat. Yeah, but I, I thought because we have off camera, Jimmy the sound guy, Jimmy, um, the, sound guy. Jimmy the sound guy is not vegan. So I thought, well, we, we've been vegan for a while. We know what this cuff stuff kind of tastes like. So let's get Jimmy, Jimmy a non-vegan's perspective here. And, Hold on, uh, Jimmy. What are you gonna say? You're gonna, Jimmy, say, you're gonna say good Eddie, things, Eddie. Jimmy. You choose one. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. Okay. You do you. Here he goes. Look at that. Oh. 
I have to get you a napkin right Ooh. on the side. It's good. Oh, it's good. delicious, man. That's really good right there. Yeah. Sorry. So I know. Good. I know because I've eaten so many of them. The tofu is so nice and tender. Mm. Immersive with everything. Gorgeous. And, and you, you're a, you were a chef for a mm -hmm. while. And you, chefs do be honest, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't like. So yeah, this is good. really, really something else. And it's messy, which mm. is good. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. I put hot sauce though. But you, know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want some hot sauce? I got hot sauce. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, mate. Mm. Living the dream here. We live the dream here. We live the dream. Look, they have this new uh, sriracha, the Tabasco sriracha. All right. It's good if you like that. Help yourself. Thank no you. ketchup in the house. Mm. <laughs> I would have ketchup with this. I think it's perfect. Oh, it's good. Maybe too sweet. Yeah, but I, I like the spicy sauces too. See? Good news. It's good. Thanks for that, mm -hmm. mate. I'll give you that hundred dollars later for, for that review. <laughs> no, we're already joking. That was a real review. Cheers, man. Cheers. Good Let's do. go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ah. That's good, man. That sausage is flavorsome. Sometimes I make it with the whole half of tofu, so it's much more. But when you want to make four, yeah, Frankie, Frankie loves it. Frankie, what's your opinion? Mm. Oh, that was very gentle. Is that you have me? Yes. Full of calcium. Good stuff. All right. So that's been, what would you call these sandwiches? All day breakfast sandwiches. All day breakfast sandwich extraordinaire. Yeah. By the man himself. Derek Sarno from Wicked Kitchen. So thank you for tuning in. We've got some more recipes coming, so stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, thanks, Joey. No worries. Cheers, man. Boom. It's like taking vegan egg to the next level. I don't mind if I do. This is gonna be sensual. Wow, dude. There's so much flavor in that. <laughs>